What's this I see? Hmm. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make do-it-yourself Harry Potter wands with all you need. Chopsticks for the base of the wand. Hot glue gun sticks. And if you need hot glue gun sticks, you need a hot glue gun. And then you need Mod Podge to cover the whole thing over to make it <gasps> shiny. You need some glitter glue. You need some more paint. You need, you need the sponge for the Mod Podge. Paint brushes for the paint, of course. Paint brushes for the paint, of course. And then that is water. And you need this. You don't need it, but what you do is you hold it from here, paint that, and then just stick it in there. And wait for it to dry. I'm gonna show you guys some wands. So I've made this one, which is Draco's wand. So me and my mom have made some. I've made six of those. There's this one, which is pretty cool. And you don't have to color them the same color. We have, there's this one. And this one has a marble on the top. Here, I'll show you a better one. This one. This one, you can see the marble. We just had this idea to use a marble. There's this one. And then all of those. <laughs> Wait, there's some gold ones too. I'm gonna show you step by step how to make a Harry Potter wand. You take a wand, you hold it with this end, and then you pick any of these colors. I'm gonna pick this one, which is the chocolate bar. And you open the whole cap Hold it like this and you use one of the small paint brushes. Dip it in, so it looks like that. Start painting away. I'm not really good with small ones. I'm really good with a uh, green one, yeah. You, you can use any paintbrush except the sponge because that's for the Mod Podge. Like with bigger ones, which I'd recommend for you to use, is good because you cover a lot more instead of small. And with this, you have to remember to paint the top. And with other colors like silver or gold, you need to do, and green and gray, you need to do a couple, like two or three layers, like three layers for green that my mom did. And yeah. <laughs> so this is what it should look like until you get it to your hand. And then take a spot, jab it in there. Wait for it to dry. So guys, I'm just doing. I just did the bottom. Just need to wave it around for it to dry a bit. Perfect. And now, of course, you need to just tightly seal that down. Now for the fun bit. Now the hot glue is dried. So, no, the hot glue is hottened. <laughs> you can hot glue the stick. So I'm gonna do, like you can do whatever you want. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You could do a,
lines or any, anything. I'm just gonna do some swirls. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of a circle. Right about here, which makes that look like that. Now you need to wait for that to dry. And don't touch hot glue, give you a blister. But you have to, once it dries, there's a bunch of these string kind of thingies that you have to peel off so it doesn't look bad. So this is how it's looking so far. You can see a string is floating up. So you can you guys can see it. And then grab that. Okay. And then you leave off and you start again where you left off. like at least 10 minutes or so for it to dry. So there we go. This is the swirls. Now, so I got a marble and this is probably dry by now. Yeah. So all you need to do if you want a marble at the top, you just get little splodge of hot glue, take the marble and stick it on there and you have to make sure it's straight on every single side. So, so far. And then you grab that, the hot glue again, again and just Put another circle around it so it stays. So like that. And then you just need to wait for that to dry. And then you can paint over the hot glue. But while I'm waiting, I'm gonna pull off some of the strings. All of the strings. Because it just looks weird with a bunch of strings on your wand, doesn't it? So this is some of the strings off. This is how it's going. So now we paint the hot glue. And I'm going to paint the hot glue. What would go good with that? This one. That would look good with that. It would look perfect. So I'm gonna use this paintbrush, which is definitely different. Definitely different. I'm gonna take this and start painting the hot glue. And you need to make sure you cover every single spotty of the hot glue. So it looks perfecto. The one fun fact is the wand is actually nine and three quarter inches long, which wow. It's pretty cool. And a train in Harry Potter leaves from platform nine and three quarters to Hogwarts school. This is how it's looking. But I need to do another layer on the marble. Because you can still see a bit black. So I'm gonna leave this to dry. And then, now we're gonna do the Mod Podge. We just didn't do the big one. So, it doesn't need to be thick. All you need is do basically just this. On this. Doesn't need to be thick. Doesn't need to be too thin.
get it in the cracks everywhere. So it looks shiny. At first it'll just like look white, but you need to wait for this to dry too. I have to wait till a lot of things. We're almost there. You have to do that bit and that bit. And then you, and then after you've done this, so it should look like this, like that. Mm -hmm. And you need to wait until all this dries so it looks clear. So I'll come back to you when it's done. So after you've done it, this is what it should look like. So we just put the sealant on so to give it that shiny kind of effect. So it looks like that now. And right now I'm gonna put some glitter glue over the bottom to make it look like it's doing kind of spell kind of thing. You guys don't need too much glitter glue to do it. You need a paintbrush of course though. Just do that. So, this gives it kind of the spell effect kind of thing. Looks like it's doing a spell. Windardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa off. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and like my channel. See you guys next time. Goodbye. And for the last spell. YouTube turn the video off. Mm.